Hello and welcome back to another video. Today going to be talking about some recent news that just dropped relating to Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. So just a short one going over some of the recent information that the developers have given us in this most recent little bit of news. So they shared this on the Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown Steam page, so some of you might not necessarily have seen it. They did also link it on their Discord. Um, so I've had a quick read through it. Um, they've released a whole load of information along with some images of the two different clubs HQs, which we'll get into in a minute. So the first and most important piece of information they gave us is that unfortunately the game is going to be delayed until next year and will no longer release in September, which will upset many fans as well as Earth, Wind and Fire. Um, Anyway, terrible jokes aside, it will now release at some point in 2023, meaning unless the Crew 3 comes out of nowhere, Need for Speed's going to be the only large-scale open-world game releasing this year. So let's hope that's good, otherwise Horizon's not going to have much competition. To be honest, given how quiet the developers have been about the game of late, I'm not actually all that surprised, and if it means, as they say, that the game will be the most polished racing game experience in the franchise, then it's not a bad thing that it's delayed if it means it'll be a higher quality game when it comes out. I would rather it was perfect or better and delayed than it was rushed out as a lot of games seem to be these days. So it wasn't all bad news and they also confirmed a few other details and gave us a little bit more information as well as telling us it's going to be delayed. So they confirmed again that the map is of course a one-to-one -one scale replica of Hong Kong Island, but also dropped in a few interesting lines that confirmed car dealerships, the radio system, convertible roofs, indicators and working windows will all be returning, um, which are tiny details but so far Test Drive Unlimited is still the only game that's managed all of them, even this many years after the last game came out, and they also slipped in there that the roads will amount to a massive 550 kilometres of tarmac to drive on. As we know, um, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown includes the new clans that we're going to have to pick between, the Sharps and the Streets. As mentioned earlier, um, they revealed these two concept art images of the headquarters of both clans, which give two really different vibes of the different lifestyles you get to pick between in the game. So whichever one you choose, you will have access to both of these HQs, but you won't be able to get into a VIP section, which I don't think we've been shown yet, which will be reserved for members of that particular clan. Um, but it'll be interesting to see if this extends to car choice or clothing options or house choice or garage choice or any of these kind of things, um, whether it'll just be purely the different HQs um, or whether we'll be limited or have different choices of things like cars. They also confirmed there will be closed beta testing, which uh, I would love to be a part of um, the test if I, it was ever possible to get in and play it early, even if it is unfinished. Obviously, I understand in closed beta it wouldn't be a, the complete game, but that would be such a great opportunity to get to play it early. Um, and they did say some of the keener players amongst us, some of the fans of the previous games, will potentially get a chance to get in and play early a slightly unfinished version of the game. But given the delay until 2023, they've also taken the decision to only develop it for next generation consoles and PC only, which means it's not going to be coming to PS4 and Xbox One. So if you're stuck on that generation still, um, well, hopefully by the time this comes out, you'll be able to upgrade so that you can play it. Um, it will be on PS5, Xbox Series and PC, as well as possibly Nintendo Switch, I think they mentioned earlier. We don't know if that's been confirmed or not now that they've announced it will be next gen only. But I think that does actually mean it will be the first racing game to it be exclusively next generation and PC, of course. So let's hope they take full advantage of what they can do with graphics and the size of the game based on that. And hopefully that will show um, when the game comes out. So yeah. It is a shame that it's delayed, but hopefully that means it will be amazing and completely finished, polished game when it comes out. Um, we've had some awesome features from Classic Games confirmed as coming to this one as well, uh, as well as getting a glimpse into the lifestyle of both of the different clans that we get to pick between. 
They've also confirmed beta testing and let us know it'll be next gen only. So although it's kind of bad news that it's been delayed, uh, there are some good points in there, some interesting information, um, which is very exciting. And yeah, finally hearing a bit more after such a long silence. Um, it's no surprise that it's delayed really when they've gone quiet for that long. But yeah. As always, I do look forward to hearing more. Do let me know if you've enjoyed this kind of informational style video. Um, but for now, that's going to be all. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back with the next video very soon.